Hi, Maggie and Kay here, just showing you our latest piece of storage kit. This is our Cool Cats Desk Caddy. Basically, it's designed, this is the front of it, but it's designed so the back is flat, so it'll fit flush against a wall, perfect in a desk space, whatever. So what we have here, we have vertical storage slots here and here. We have a pot for keeping your pens and pencils and things in. Some lovely divided storage slots here, perfect for scissors, rulers, um, spatulas, whatever you fancy really. Horizontal shelves here, and we've incorporated our curved features again because we just think that makes the design look really nice and really cool. And here's our little drawer in here with compartments in. And this is also perfect for popping bits in and just keeping to one side while you're doing a particular project. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to put it together. Okay, so we've sorted our pieces out. They're all, they've all got their initials on. And what's the first piece we need to do, Kay? Take A, place so letter side down and fix the uh, back B into place, ensuring the curve is the correct way. Okay, so I've got B facing up, so I know that that's the right way and that's going to fit onto there like no. that okay so just take some good just use a good um taking the top off that makes it go further <laughs> <laughs> just, just like it. <laughs> so use a good a good um strong pva a good wood glue something like that don't have one that's too thin and don't put too much glue on because it doesn't help with the bond that's that there and then we're just going to pop that onto there, like that, and then just let that dry. What I tend to do is just wedge it up against a book or something so it stays nice and straight. Okay, so we're putting this to one side now. Okay, well then uh, fix C, ensuring the curve is the opposite to the B. So okay. that's, that's face, A is face down. So this is piece C. A is face down. So oh, I'm like that. A is face down, yeah. Okay, right. Okay, so A is face down. So piece C is going to fit, let me turn it around for you. Piece C is going to fit in there. I have to bring the whole lot forward. Piece C. No, I still can't see it. Okay. Yeah? Hold on. Okay. Okay, right, hold on a minute. Okay, so you can see the letter B facing up. So now I'm going to put piece C in and I need to make sure that you can see the letter. Okay, so that's what we mean. And that's piece C there. So there, you can use your finger to run along to get rid of the excess glue or a paintbrush. So that's there, and then you're going to put that to one side. Yeah, and wedge it. So wedge it, it against a book or something else like that, so it can dry. So okay, so they're now drying. So now you take, um, well it says, take slot D and put it in place but do not stick, ensuring that the curve is opposite to panel C. You can leave that piece out. If so you we're just going to put... Panel, we're just going to put piece D to one side. Right for the minute. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Take the middle shelf E, which is this one, and put into the bottom slot of side F, whilst ensuring that F is at the top and facing outward. Okay, so that's shelf E. That's my F. So F will be at the top. The bottom one. That's it. Right, okay, so that's shelf E, that's F. I've got my F at the top there, but the bottom slot is going to go there. Just trying it out, and you'll see that you have a gap. Can you see the gap? Okay, 
So in the next, so that's those pieces stuck there. You can see that F is on the outside. Your E is there, and you've got your little gap there. So what's next, Kay? Okay, and then place top shelf G into the top slot of the box side, and showing that the curve is opposite to the middle middle shelf E. Okay, and my letter will be facing up, so I'm going to turn this round. So that is E. That is F facing out. So G will fit in here because you'll have the letter G facing up and you'll have the curve opposite to the other side. Yep, so I'll stick that now. Okay, so that is then... You turn it on its side. No, I sit like that. So that's then stuck. I've got F here, G and E. Okay, can you just put E in? It's not quite stuck in. That's it. No, it's this one. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so then we're going to slide this. Yeah, then you're going to slide box front H and lock into place. And it's just like that, isn't Once it? Once yeah. Yeah. Okay. So once these two pieces are stuck in firmly, you're going to take. Box side H, and that should just slide into place. Okay. So once those two pieces have stuck, you're going to take box side H, which is going to slide onto, slide underneath here, and stick on. You need to put a little bit of glue underneath here as well. I'm just going to use my finger. Just run that along there. You can use a piece of card if you don't want to use your finger. And then that is just going to slide underneath and lock into place. So get rid of your excess glue. You just need to hold that until it Just turns. hold that until it grabs. That's all stuck. We've given that about 10 minutes to set properly the glue. Okay, so what's next, Kay? What's next is, once the shelf unit is assembled, remove unfixed panel D and fix the shelf assembly to into D. Okay, so here is panel D, and we're going to stick that onto there. So we're just going to stick like that and like that, and you'll see I've got the letter facing up. So we'll just run the glue along here. And this is when we have some really nice, tasteful music. <laughs> I can see that that bit's unstuck, so I'm going to stick that back together. In the picture, you did it the other way around, but never mind. Yes, I did, I think, didn't I? Okay, so that's going to go on there. And fade down with the music. Yes. Okay, so that has all locked into place. Okay. Okay. And again, give that time to dry. What's next, Kay? Once you have stuck this firmly, stick panel D into A, and you will need to hold in place until the glue, glue grabs and it is firmly stuck before fixing in the bottom shelf I. Don't forget to put glue along the edge of the box. Okay, right. So we're going to take, take this piece and I'm just going to pop the glue on. So there's the glue on there. Okay, and now I'm going to stick that onto here. Okay, so that is your piece stuck on. If I just turn it that way, it's just a little bit fragile at the moment, but you can see. You can't see a thing because you, you yeah. need to come right forward. How's that? Can you see it now? Yeah. So that's stuck there. So what's next, Kay? Next part is then uh, fit I in. Okay. Shelf I. So shelf I is going to fit under here. Again, you've got your opposite curves going. So I'm going to turn that around now and stick it and then I'll put it back again. So I'm just going to show you where to put the glue. Make sure you put it all the way along the long edge and then on this side here. Not the other side because obviously you haven't got the other side of the caddy stuck yet. So I'm going to stick that one in. So glue wise, you're going to put that on the outer edge of your K. Yeah? Yeah. And then this one, you're going to put the glue 
along the edges like that. Start here, and I find it easiest just to start to slot them on. As we say in the instructions, it takes a little bit of jiggling. There we go, that one's on. Just put that one on there. Push it on a little bit more. locked into place and then when this one is locked into place okay then you know that you can fit fit it into the backboard there like that and that is a really good strong snug fit stick your side divider rods and they're all labeled and you need to make sure the letters are facing outwards. So you'll see there are little slots in here and that will just slot straight in and the base will be flush with the bottom bit there. So then take your next one which is M, that will slot in there and take your next one which is N and that one will slot in there. So that's your three side dividers there. Okay. And then you're going to stick, is it P next? It is P next, yeah. Okay, so we'll turn it on its side. Glue application there, okay. And then I'm just going to stick that piece onto there. Like that. So that's the glue application. And now we're going to stick that straight onto base Q. Okay, and again with your excess glue, either use a paintbrush or finger, just rub it off. And then you need, that's done there, O, and that just fits in. Right way around, and that just fits in there. Right now, we're going to fit our drawer together, and our drawer has a compartment. So, we're going to take piece Z and we're going to stick it first of all into piece Y. That. And then you're going to stick piece X on to Z. Okay, and we'll just pop a little line of glue. Ah, oh, just along there. And that's going to stick from there. our drawer divider. So now we're going to stick that onto our drawer base and I've popped glue along here and just in the little aperture there. <coughs> oh and I need to do it all along here and along here like that and then that one will just slot into there nicely like that. Front on now. This has a curve on it. There's only one way that it will fit because you have a slot there that that's going to lock into like that. So now we're going to stick that. So there's your drawer front locked into place there. Now we're going to stick our drawer back on. thing we've got to do is stick our drawer side. Okay and then we're just going to slot our last bit which is piece U, the drawer end and again 
once you've got this stuck just pop an elastic band around it just to hold it in place to allow a bit of good glue drying time and that's your drawer.